Hello everybody, welcome to the final round of the NAF World Cup qualifier for the World Championship 2024. Got myself versus Kalik here, a lizard man mirror. Um, so I can I can give you a quick flash of the table here. So you can see I obviously it doesn't matter to me because I've already um I've already qualified for the World Cup, but I still want to win this tournament, even though it's completely meaningless. <laughs> so if I win, I've got a chance to win the tournament. Um, for Kalik to qualify, he has to win. Um, a draw is no good for him here, so... Um, yeah, he, he's got to give it his all to try and win somehow. Um, I won the toss, decide to receive, because seeing as he has to win, if I just get my drive done, then he's got to score early to try and win, so then I should win. Uh, like, you know, I should win 2-1, right? So... He's got to, he's got to play very, very dicely, very aggressively. Oh, he's actually, he's, he's not got block. He's got a wrestler. Uh, uh, not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? We've both got a little golden-handed guy, that's pretty funny. Right, it's obviously very weak to have blitzed down this side here. So I guess I have to stop that. Now that makes it a bit a bit stronger. Like still not not very strong obviously, but it's a bit stronger, right? He can block him to there, he can punch him again. He can block him. If you go stupid, we've got a problem. Um he can withdraw after he blocks. This isn't ideal over here. I guess that's a bit better. So, you know, we've got the blitz covered a, a bit on both sides. And, uh, yeah, obviously, one skink deep to get it. Solid defense. That's the worst thing that could have happened for putting a skink on the LOS. Never lucky. Thing is, if he tries to outmuscle us by like putting two Saurus here, I can still blitz one and then block the other, and then block this, and then block all down the line. So, it's not super great for him to try and do that. I guess he could try and put like three onto one here, which isn't great for me, but again, not, not even too great for him, right? So I think what I do now is rather than relying on the crocs, I just block forward with these guys. Just 2D him away, 2D him away, 2D him with block. Blitz him. Oh, what a start. Yes. 
Oh my god, I don't have my auto clicker on. Ten milliseconds, repeat seven times. Now I can actually play this game like it's a video game made by a professional company. So now do I try and just now, now do I just go down the line and rely on the crocs? to go down the line and rely on the crocs. Injured! Apple might not work. Or does he save it? Turn one. Apple doesn't work. Oh baby. Oh baby. Now obviously this this block really sucks if this guy goes stupid. So I guess I'll move him in first. Into there. Pretty good start, two Saurus out. That is his defense shattered instantly. So now it's just trying to not be stupid and give him an easy hit on the ball or get anybody surfed or, or just, just don't be stupid now from now on, right? This should be an easy, this should be an easy, uh, easy drive. Just don't be stupid. Do not be stupid. The Bonehead Podcast thread was funny. Yeah, there's a bit of Dave Ortiz there, wasn't there? That was a hell of a start. Apple gone. Two removals. Flip me. It's weird because you can feel sorry for Kalik because obviously he's been pretty shafted pretty hard there and I, I can't even qualify for the World Cup because I've already qualified. But also, like you know, this game would have just happened versus someone else. That, that's the way I'm rationalising my impact on this tournament. Um, if I was not in this tournament, um, you know, you would have lost to somebody else or whatever, right? Like, so I, I, I'm, I'm not feeling bad about, uh, the people's whose dreams I've crushed, <laughs> which is four so far. Um, but, you know, it just is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, this is the problem about putting this guy up. It did give him this blitz the turn after. Because he gets the follow-up hit. But, um... But still. He's not assisted with a Saurus, so he's in a... A bit of a pickle there anyway, isn't he? A bit of a pickle! Oh, he's going for a foul? That's oh, fair enough, right? He's got a high roll. Yeah, that's, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Is it a good play? Like, no, right? Objectively. <laughs> it's not a great play putting a two-assist foul there, but it gives you a chance to get super lucky. Does he have to get super lucky? Yes. So... Never 
a looky. Okay. Not loving what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really want this guy to come. I, this guy can move back, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so you can go all the way there. Not a time's pretty rubbish. Like, it's pretty rubbish, right? I've, but I really want to look after my skinks now, right? Because I'm up, because I'm two players up. I have to really look after my skinks. And, uh,. Try not letting give him too easy hits on my skinks. Oh, he could actually hit the ball, right? He could just uphill. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, not really. Okay. <laughs> I just realised he could uphill here, and then everybody's too far away, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can only touch this guy. I'm getting two Saurus on his Saurus makes it hard for that one, doesn't it? So I can probably continue to fight him there. Dice, never lucky. A wanna. A bit of a pickle. Okay. How safe is the ball? Super safe. No, that's pretty good. I 
do I make sure I do the best blitz here? Probably this guy here. This is a real bad fail, right? But not that bad because he punches one. He can't. He can't then blitz the ball. Um, he could dodge in and, and one D the ball with escape, but he can't like hit it with with a source or anything. Um, so I think it's worth trying to like it. Good. Injured. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that looks worth hitting him. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Turns out, two da blasting people with, with mighty blow on two dice is a good decision. This is where you can overthink, isn't it, by, like, failure states and everything, you know? Actually, just smashing the fuck out of people, pretty good. Maximise two blocks you make, minimise two blocks you take. We'll get you to master, I think. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, this is a dicing for him. He can still battle, obviously. He can still battle and scrap, and I can still mess up. Roll, have crucial dice rolls, right? He can just die bomb the cage. Things can happen. It's not over, but... Uh, Obviously, he's going to be pretty demoralised at this point in time. And now that he's three strong boys down, it's going to be easier and easier to hit his skinks. And three dice with block. You can put the crocs on somebody so that he can't... Uh, you can't avoid getting mighty blowed by the crocs. So yeah, it's... It's real bad for him. They can concede, yeah. I mean... He can still win though, right? Like, <laughs> it's hard, but he can still win. But yeah, there's... Like, of course you can concede, right? Like, he, he might be, like, morally opposed to it. Some people are, right? But... Um, it's fine to concede in like NAF, NAF format because nobody like there's no there's no repercussions right like if this was a league then uh, this could be more SPPs for me and etc et or less more or less and less injuries for him or you know less injuries for me or whatever so like so in a league there's all sorts of knock-on effects from conceding but in like NAF style it's just uh, it's just, yeah, why waste everyone's time? So, yeah, completely, completely, uh, reasonable. Nice KO. Um, I could send forth my minions to tag skinks, but I don't think it's worth it. I think, uh, stay where we are.
kill the skinks, yeah. Like now, now you can kill the skinks, right? Now that he's down Saurus, he just can't protect the skinks whatsoever. But when people say, oh, just kill the skinks, it's like, well, first of all, you probably won't kill the skinks. Second of all, they've got seven fucking dudes with strength four and five that are, that are making it not very easy to hit them. <laughs> Good morning, I don't have an anvil. I'll have to start pushing forward at some point here, right? It is it is turn five now. It's not so easy to one D the ball, right? This is the thing. Because I've got the uh, the eye cage there. It's not super easy for him to one D the ball, but yes, I'm, I'm obviously the one D on the ball is is his number one route now. So basically all he not number one route, it's basically all he has. <laughs> the one D on the ball is basically all he has at this point. He does get a three D of skin back. But this completely abandons his defence. Which is nice. I'm tempted to 3D blitz his skink up here and then just dodge mine away. Is it? I've got to hit with a block first, unfortunately. Because otherwise, if the uh, crocs went stupid, I couldn't 2D that guy. He's now there, marked out. He does have a free Saurus. So, to stand this skink up, you'll just get blitzed by him, right? Probably still worth it. Oh, Magnus the Pink! It is a, uh, it is indeed a live Jimmy game. Yep. I might start streaming more. I keep I've said this a lot over the last couple of days, but I might start streaming more again. We'll see. We'll see how it goes with real life stuff. Glorious YouTubes. He has to GFI to hit the skink at least, right? So if he wants to hit this GF skink, he has to GFI to hit it. Or he blitzes this one. 
and this would have to need a skink exposed to blitz him. This guy needs two players to deal with him. He he needs multiple players, so he's you know, four players down. <laughs> it's not easy for him, is it? Four players down. But this is his route. This is his route. He gets the 2D on there, and then with the knockdown, he can put in one player to hit the Crocs. But this obviously means he's got nothing in front, so I do get to punch forward. I might go for a... Uh, okay, no. If he'd got the knockdown, he might have gone for a foul there. That would have been all right. I mean, oh, he's going he's gonna to re-roll it. Okay, so he gets the knockdown, he gets the foul as well. Foul is almost certainly correct here because the defence is already abandoned. No, I go, not, 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 not that he's chosen to, but, you know, with four removals. Um, might as well just try and get lucky. Yeah, I, I like even doing those two dodges as well, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to be happy if he gets a Kaz here. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, that was right for sure. Two, three, four, five, six. Right. So if he goes one, two, three, four, five, six out to there, and I just need this one here. And this one there. Is it worth standing this guy up? Yeah, go on. Maybe it wasn't worth standing that guy up, because he's just going to get instantly 4D'd. But then, you know, if he takes up two players' actions, then he's definitely not coming back to, to stop the score, which means I can uh, fight him harder next turn. Kind of wanted to pow the skink and uh, chain out the crocs. Instantly knocked down. Maybe I shouldn't have stood this guy up. Okay, get away with it. That's a good tag, because my plan was to uh, use him to blitz this guy into a follow-up pit. He 
so now he can't even touch the ball if it's up here. And do I go? I can't go three dice blockless. right with three. Never lucky. Why is this guy still back there? What? I just forgot to move him. <laughs> he could have been up in, up in one of these two spots. Oh well. Oh, that was pretty bad, wasn't it? He could have been up here. And if he was here, then he couldn't have hit the uh, crocs. Just literally forgot this guy. Fuck me. Good. Look a dog, Jimothy. Oh, if he was there, he could have still hit him. He'd have got those pieces in. Yeah, okay. I'd have just got a hit back on the last turn. He's got to make lots of block, uh, lots of fouls, hasn't he? Here, like, although he hasn't succeeded in them, he hasn't been sent off either. So, in a way, he was risking quite a bit. In terms of like, you know, like obviously it's he's absolutely shattered at the moment, but um, he was risking a bit in that. If it failed, it is worse for set half in the one turn and stuff. So it wasn't co like it was. It was you know it was absolutely the correct thing to do, but it wasn't completely without risk. I'm not going to re-roll. <laughs> Absolute pussy. I could easily roll three skulls. Oops. <laughs> Fails both his KOs. This could be incredible. He gets the one turn with seven players. Fair fucking play to him. But, you know, it's exactly the same thing for him, right? He just wants to knock, knock him down and get a big foul off. Like, it's kind of dumb, because it's it's like, it's, it's not a good strategy, but if your chance to win a game is 10%, <laughs> then you do the things that have, you know, have a chance to make it, you know, 12%, rather than the things that don't.
He's dutifully attempting it, but um, I, I it's got eight players, and it's, it's, I still don't think it's. Uh, I think it's hard. I guess maybe you should set up for a quick snap, right? It's it's players to set up for a quick snap here. Quick snap or ride. Good day, cocky. Or uh, <laughs> some poor, <laughs> some poor K nut. <laughs> Oh wow, you mean get SVP that doesn't matter, so I mean this this basically negates the one turn chance, what little chance there was. These KO rolls are gonna be huge, aren't they? But the fact he's got eight players means that it's <laughs> in a way it's not so bad for him because he's got twelve players, whereas I've only got eleven if I'd taken those removals in the first half, obviously it's it would have been worse for my build. So his build does have a bit more resiliency than my build. So um it's not, you know, if he gets two back, okay, he's still down two big fellas, which is horrendous. <laughs> but he'll still have ten, which isn't that bad. He might do this, might he? Yeah? No. Yeah, he's got a reroll. He gets the push while he's rolled all the dice so far. He's rolled all of the dice. Still needs a push or a pal. And he needs to pick up the ball and fucking long bomb it without re rolls. Might not even be a long bomb, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then pass it to this one. That's probably going to be a. Alright, it's a 6 plus. <laughs> it's definitely the PA4, yeah, so it's 6 plus pal. 100% guaranteed 6 plus pass. Should have done the block first, because failing this doesn't do anything right, whereas if he does the block he can cast my guy. Casting my guy definitely helps him. So he's got nine players now. Maybe go cups. Yeah, Crocs on the OS because he ain't got a Crocs. One, two, three, four. He's KO stayed out, so yeah, he's done three, three big guys. And he's in a lot of trouble. He's in a bit of a pickle. How's things? Not too bad, not too bad. I might actually start streaming more. I'm seeing it a lot for something that might happen. But when you're streaming... <laughs> Blood ball, there's a lot of dead air. <laughs> so things tend to get <laughs> repeated, don't they? I don't know. Somebody, somebody on Reddit was saying, you know, I should try and explain everything in detail, but the problem is that's like, it's just hard. It's just hard to continuously. Also, I'm not sure I'd want to. I'd be so interested in what I am my slight. Because there's a lot of people who watch. Like, watch Blood Bowl, right? Like, I, I, I would watch. Rick and Elliot, etc. All day and back in the old days, and it's just interesting to watch football. And you don't really like. I don't want it spelled out to me like you know the absolute basics in every single game. Right? That would be a bit too much. So I think occasionally um, explaining more basic things is fair enough, and then get the more basic things in YouTube videos seems the way to do it for me. So I might get I might get some more YouTube videos done. Yeah I did I did I did do the next one stop yeah yeah 
Yeah, I do need to do more. I mean, again, I planned to do more then, but then didn't. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I should crank out a few of those. It is it is improved a bit. So the main, honestly, Cocky, the main improvement is I've got an auto clicker. OP auto clicker 3.0, which clicks every 10 milliseconds, repeated seven times. And then I've got that map to my... Uh, to my one of my mouse buttons right so i can actually just click a button on my mouse to stand up a player and and to move a player and to blitz a player and it's one click and that is the biggest improvement that they've made to the game and they didn't make it that was just that was just you know having to come up with a ghetto solution to their unbelievably horrendous ux <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, the absolute biggest improvement to the game is nothing to do with cyanide, and that makes it that makes it very playable. Like that, that change alone makes it very playable for me. No, oh, double skulls. Down to one reroll, or or just eats it. You just have to try and win. So. Yeah, I think he has to reroll that because otherwise I'm just blitzing this skink and <laughs> and then he's in all sign all kinds of trouble. Safe moves first, get the crocs up. Or at least know if it's up or not. Oh, I could surf! I could surf the skink! Nah. See, I'm not in a rush to do anything nice. No, oh, thanks. Thanks, I don't have that. Yeah, I'll definitely keep that. I'll definitely keep with the commentary streams because <laughs> commenting is easier than playing right at the end of the day. Um, Chaos have been completely shut on yet. Yeah. Um, however, they are playable in that uh, the format of the ladder is such that there's no redraft, so you, you can get them up to like 1700 TV, where they're like fine, but they're not good. They're not good at 17, but they're fine at 17. But like orcs just basically smash them to bits. It's a, it's a hard life for non-orcs in Blood Bowl 3, <laughs> basically. Everything that isn't an orc is like, why aren't you an orc? <laughs> mm. I mean, what I could have done is well, I could have just sat back with the skinks. But um, by going forward with the skinks, it means that he might try and do something. Which he has tried to do something. Which could end very badly for him. I 
don't know how he protects this at all now. <laughs> he can definitely one dice everything. That helps. I think I might have spotted a hit on the ball here. is okay for me. It's not in the crowd, but it is in a tackle zone. I'd have to get somebody back and over. So you can 2D him, I can take a 2D and stuff there, I can take the ball down there, so. Do I follow? Yeah, I've got to, I've got to get more tackle zones on the ball, right? Okay, this gives him the scatter, but he's got to do a 1D to get it. Oh, no, it's a 2D. It's an instant 2D. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm a complete idiot. Oh, that was a terrible follow. That was an absolutely terrible follow. I was thinking this was just a 1D. I just, did, for some reason, didn't understand that this was an assist. I don't know why I didn't think this was an assist. Did, did I not see this player, or did I think the this player was standing up I don't understand I for some reason I just saw like these four players and didn't see anything else I, just, I don't know what it was I don't know why I didn't see that oh that is terrible well that could be a game drawer or loser what a terrible terrible follow should have just stayed there the funny thing is when I when I when I did the hit I thought oh I can't follow you know I just thought I can't follow because the scatter and then as soon as I did the hit I was like well it's only a one day Really weird, should have just, just taken a bit more time, I guess. Just double check things. There's an instant, I mean, he, he has to block, right? He just has to block. And then it can, if there's two scatters, they get the ball completely free. Okay, didn't pass, that's good. But this one scatter gets the ball completely free. Which is horrendous. Well, okay, but perfect scatter. Okay, right, good, good. Disaster averted. That should uh, that should wrap up the uh, the two nil win then. Not a hundred percent, of course, but um, obviously huge, huge favourite to win the match. Oh yeah, blitz with that blitz with that guy makes sense to try and get him in the mix. Problem is he's freed my guy up now.
can't be mad at that, can I? He had to do it. Look at dog. <laughs> Hey. And he forces the scatter, which is probably the correct play. Wow, I could have made that three dice as well. But I was greedy, and it's cost me a reroll. And if there's any ever a time to not be greedy, it's when you're completely dominant, isn't it? Stuns are pretty good. It doesn't even matter if I don't get the ball now, so I can do this punch. Crocs on him. Ball, ball. Imagine I used my reroll on the pickup there. Like this is this is what I was thinking of when I didn't stand him up to assist that to make it a three D. This was kind of the ter the the end state that I uh, I um, kind of subconsciously envisioned, but I guess it wouldn't have really made a difference if I'd stood up there first, and then I'll have, I'll just surf this guy like sort of a three dice, so I might have got a push. So it would have been a plate to stand up and then another plate to blitz and then pick up the ball. So like this guy would, uh, this guy maybe would have blitzed and then picked up the ball at the end. And then I would have had to have done, and I wouldn't have been able to hit the skink though. That skink blitz could have been a 2D uh, rather than a 3D, but I don't know. I feel like I, uh, I feel like I was definitely just too greedy and it was just incorrect. Incorrect to be as greedy as I was there. Especially with how like over the game was, how how much I didn't need to be greedy. There are times when being greedy is good. This is pretty good, isn't it? There's like a web of tackle zones. He's out of range. Don't follow so that this guy's got an extra guy on the outside. And now by like not taking this hit, he's either got a dodge to base the ball, or if he blitzes himself off, he can't be even base. So 
So yeah, this is. Uh... So the reason is, um, I don't. <laughs> I don't have an anvil is um they they've got skinks as well right so um by making like an eye cage like this he's got to bring in a skink first to, to negate the defensive assist like it's still a cage right like there's still there's, there's still like a screen in front of it so you if you play it like what I'm what I like I I didn't think about this at all right but uh if you can look on you can see on uh on YouTube my game against Shanba um I didn't think about it at all before the game, and then when we were playing, I was like, "Oh, if I if I like put a skink either side, even if he dodges through all of his skinks, he can't do better than get a one dice, right? Like there's no like you know even with the, even like now I know he's only got three skinks here, but even if he had four skinks, you know if if you like do some kind of formation where they can get an assist, they can just make a million dodges. So I thought if I've always got an eye cage, then he's got to play bring in one player to negate it, and then one player to get a one d." whatever happens from any angle and it's just it's just easier to not think about right whereas like um you know he's got to make a bunch of dodges and stuff to be fair he made them there but yeah that's basically the idea because because there are other skinks that it's uh they can just do that and it's like easier right it only takes three players whereas if like if it was a cage it would take five right and it's only one dodge in if you if you do if you do like a five man cage it's one dodge in to hit, whereas this was like one, two, two dodges in, right? So it was a bit better. Um, so I can just score this turn and go two nil up, or I can make a three dice block, and I think I should make a three dice block. We'll probably only the three dice block. Um, and just in case it goes completely tits up, I'll base here. For Dimmy. <laughs> Woo. So yeah, that's that's over now, isn't it? Like really only 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 against other stunties, right? Like, that's the thing. Specifically only against stunties. Because it's so easy for them to, like, dodge into a cage. Versus anybody else a cage. But, yeah, for Lizardman Mirror, it seemed like a good idea. Pretty glorious, isn't it? I mean, I was pretty fucking lucky. <laughs> Two cars failed Apple, and then he's failed four out of six KO rolls. So, um... <laughs> Globo Jim. No, I, I stole the Globo. You know, when I, when I started Team Fantastic, like, ten years ago, I, was, <laughs> I stole the Globo Jim thing of, here at Team Fantastic, we're better than you, and we know it. <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. I fucking love Dodgeball. I actually love Dodgeball. I think that was a great movie. I might watch it again sometime. Fucking global gym. I got Le Fleur as on it. Is this Le Fleur? Yeah. <laughs> So it's actually not over, right? Like, he could... <laughs> no, it is over, yeah, because he can't score turn 50. So, no, it is completely over. See, it's over. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad he didn't start like that. I knew the pal here, actually. Never lucky. Five 
players. No, it's not good. Right, I can just run around and hit him. because I'll roll a pal. <laughs> and a removal. <laughs> and it's not in a tackle zone. I don't do use that, so I guess I just uh Roll some dice. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. Oh! I was on turn 14, I didn't have to... I didn't have to pick it up. Shit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's definitely a win. Completely irrelevant whether it's 3 0 or not. <laughs> oh man. Absolute Dyson, yep. I will see, Rose. This guarantees me top two, this victory. So well done, Jim. Entered two qualifiers for the World Cup, qualified from them both. Not terrible at the Blood Bowls. Yep, thanks. <laughs> good, good news for you, isn't it? Makes it easier for you. This is, yep, this is the final round. <laughs> I don't have to GFI to score, so I don't really want to do that. Because I'll just fail. So <laughs> mm. I don't think my crocs went went stupid at all in the entire game. Pretty good. I'm sorry, Machina. I had them against Seabros for like a few turns, which was enough. And I had them the first half versus Devo. Oh, you can just go all that. No, you can't. <laughs> I had them the first half versus Devo. <laughs> it is, yeah. It is, you're right. So they do. Okay, good. Oh, it just went straight in now. Well, at least that was less time wasted for Kallik. Uh, 
yeah, so obviously feel a bit sorry for Carrick, but at the end of the day, the way that I'm looking at it is, um, you know, like somebody else would have played these games, right? So it's not, you know, like, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like it could have been a 49 player tournament without me and the, the same standings would have happened. So I don't, uh, I don't really care. Um, I, don't, I don't really like, you know, I don't really care about the, the people whose dreams I've crushed. Sorry, but you know, it, like, it, it would have, you know, that's the way I justify it to myself that I'm not actually really influencing anything because they would have played somebody else and still got diced. <laughs> but there you go. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy for myself that uh, I won that game. So yeah, that takes me to 15 points and guaranteed top two. And there's a chance of winning it, right? If two are in Andy Devo draw, then I will win the win the tournament. Um, if one of them wins, I will be second and uh, uncatchable by Niagara and Seabors. So there you go. Uh, that was obviously before this match. And um, yep, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Everybody. Obviously, GG to Kalik. Um, absolute dicing. <laughs> to be honest, like, you know, like it just—it really was, right? Because there was just the two instant instant removals on turn one. It was just like almost no coming back from that. Um, so there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.